My name is Edward Fortune. Um, I'm publicly known as the New Jersey Weed Man, and I am a medical marijuana patient. Uh, right now, I have a court case in Esham Township, New Jersey, uh, over possession of my medicine. Um, just to let you know what it is, is uh, I have I have a form of bone cancer. I get tumors. Um, they're called giant cell tumors, and basically, what they really are, they're they're benign. They're not malignant, but they're painful, they hurt. Um, most of the time, I can feel my leg. I have a tumor right here in my right, right, my right femur. Uh, most of the time, I can feel it. There are times when it actually hurts. I'm in, I'm in pain. Occasionally, you, you may even see me using a, using a crutch, especially if I know I have to walk a lot or know I have to go up and down stairs and things like that. I'll use a crutch for those things. Um, I've had this condition. Uh, for at least 13 years, I, I first got diagnosed with it in, in 2000. I've had surgeries before where I've had uh, tumors removed. For instance, um, right now, this particular tumor is, is located right here at the base of my femur. And as you can see the scar here, I had one removed back in 2001 from just slightly higher up than where this one's located. But right there, it's a big scar. It removed, it basically removed the bottom of my femur once. It was very painful. I've had a surgery where they would uh, cut into my hip and reached in and scraped bones from the, in, scraped bone from the inside of my pelvis. Uh, again, it was super painful. Now one thing, with my condition, most people use some 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 forms of uh, chemical legal drugs like like Percocets and hydrocordones, um, uh, painkillers. Uh, I've been always adverse to using painkillers, and it's not the first time I've had I've had issues. Uh, you know, there was there was a there was a time in the '90s I actually had a, a, had a spinal infection, and I was given all types of Percocets and hydrocordones and things that just made my head. I didn't want to be there. I didn't like the way they felt. And I've always been afraid of being addicted to something. Um, so now, at this point in my life, with this condition, I use marijuana for most of the time, or I just ignore the pain as much as I can. Use, the use of marijuana is, gr is great for pain relief. Um, it puts your head somewhere else, you know? Well, this case in East Sham Township started on uh, March 15th, I actually just went to California. Uh, when I was in California, I had obtained, uh, you know, my medicine. That's where I go once a month in, uh, to Santa Monica, California to get my uh, cancer treatment. So I'm in an experimental cancer treatment in, uh, at the Santa Monica Oncology Center where I received this experimental drug. And I could have gotten the surgeries like I, like I did in the past, I didn't want the surgeries. I wanted to use this drug. I've been using this drug. It is actually working, um, but I still continue to use marijuana. I, use, I smoke marijuana. I eat marijuana. For instance, these right here are some edibles I just obtained. But these, but this to me is medicine. This marijuana is medicine. These bottles of marijuana. To me, this is my medicine. This is what I choose to use. Now, in Esham Township that night, again, these are some edibles also. Currently in New Jersey, you're not allowed to use edibles either, by the way. Now, in, in uh, March, March 15th, uh, I, I mean, sorry, April, April 15th, uh, I got pulled over by an East Sham Township police officer. I was a passenger in the car. I was not driving. It was for a simple uh, light bulb faultiness. The light bulb wasn't completely out. It was, it was dimmer than the rest. And the police officer pulled the car over with the young lady in it. Um, she had no tickets, no nothing. Everything to me should have been give her a ticket for the light bulb and be about our way. But instead, the police officer started paying attention to me one of my information, uh, it, it turned into an investigation of me. Uh, to me, it was a straight profiling case. Um, young white girl with a traffic ticket, 
He should have just gave her the ticket and let her go. But he saw me as a passenger, and then he wanted to know who I was. Uh, he asked me if I had marijuana on me. At the time, I had a shirt on that had a marijuana leaf on it. He said to me, when I asked him, when I, when I questioned if he was profiling me, uh, I, and I specifically didn't say profiling because I was black, I said, are you profiling me because I have dreads? And he said to me, no, uh, I've met plenty of people who had uh, dreads that didn't have marijuana in their pocket. He says, I'm asking you because you have a marijuana shirt on uh, and I've never, and he says that he has never met anyone who had a marijuana shirt on who also didn't have marijuana myself. in their pocket. So that was the basis and the logic, the probable cause in his mind of why it was okay to search me because I had a shirt on it with a marijuana leaf. To me, that shirt was an expression of, uh, of, of art, of freedom, but to him it was probable cause to search me. And of course, uh, he did search me. And when he searched me, he found a bottle of my medicine. And again, New Jersey officially has recognized marijuana as being a, uh, a medicine, but our criminal statutes describe marijuana as having no medical value, and people are prosecuted under it, and that's what's gonna happen to me again in Esham Township. I'm being prosecuted once again for having my medicine. Now, the purpose of New Jersey's uh, Medical Marijuana Compassionate Use Act was to protect people who had medical conditions. But you know what? Our medical uh, program in New Jersey, our medical marijuana program in New Jersey is, is broken. It doesn't work. It's, it's inadequate. Um, I have, you know, it's, it's, it's far better for me once a month when I go to California for my medical treatment to obtain my medicine there. Uh, it's not this big cumbersome bureaucracy that the state of New Jersey wants. The state of New Jersey's program requires you to pay a couple hundred dollars to go see special doctors. Um, and even at that, a couple thousand of people at this moment, a couple thousand of people have tried to get into New Jersey's program. Uh, less than a thousand people have been accepted into the program. And as of this day, over three years since the program started, only 120 something people have actually received medical marijuana. The program is broke. Because the program is broke doesn't mean I'm going to stop uh, treating myself. So uh, I'm invoking a medical necessity defense in Esham Township based on the fact that my condition is real, this medicine is real, I need this medicine, I prefer this medicine as opposed to the dangerous addictive drugs that are legal. Uh, the state of New Jersey has recognized marijuana as having a, a medicinal value. It distributes marijuana, it attempts to distribute marijuana itself. I see nothing wrong with the fact that I go to California, get my own medicine, and bring my own medicine back and treat myself. And that's what this case in East Jam Town is about. Yes, I think the police officers uh, violated my Fourth Amendment when they searched me the way they did based on a, a leaf on my, on, my, on my jacket, on my shirt. But you know what? It's more than that. This is, this is about uh, one's right to use his own, his own medicine. It is a medicine. Despite the flawed system that's set up in New Jersey, it's, it's, it's broken. You know, I'm just doing uh, what's best for me and my health. By any means necessary, I and I put the wicked them in cemetery. Them a film and fire burn them in the January. Me not care about the cost, not care what they have to pay. By any means necessary, I a revolutionary burn the commentary. Me not care about your posse, them can still get buried. I a burn out the evil, even if they have to spray.